Distant Thunder Cal interview, take one, Mark. You ready? Yep, ready to go. Ready to roll. Let's do it. Hockey is my family. Some of my best memories are from playing on the ice with my brother and my dad. In Australia, the big sports are definitely rugby league and cricket, but I find that I'm most at home on the ice. I think what makes Newcastle special is the beaches and the people and everywhere in between. I remember when I was younger going to some reserves and, and just getting to meet, meet the koalas and, and seeing the, the emus and how tall they were with the kangaroos hopping around and I just think that it's something special. When I was young my dad took my brother and I to a, a practice just to get out there and have a skate. and. We just loved it. From then we just kept playing. One morning when we were playing a game, we were down a goalie. I put my hand up. I remember them digging through the, uh, the old kits trying to find something that would fit me. And yeah, it just as soon as I got out there and I started playing, I just loved it. Loved the feeling of stopping the puck. It was something we could do together. Uh, I was on the ice with the boys most of the time. It was, it was a really fun thing for us to do as a family group. The people who were in it were just as passionate as us, so you had all these like-minded people getting together over hockey uh, and just loving it and suddenly being able to talk to other people, other Australians, about ice hockey. And there's a real real sense of community at that rink and, and for us to be part of it was, was a lot of fun. I remember waking up one morning, um, just put on anything that was on for hockey-wise and straight away I think there was just a, a massive slap shot from the point and Ben Bishop just ripped it out of the air and I just was in awe from there. The whole game they were just peppering him and he just kept stopping everything. Just wanted to watch him every chance I could. I ended up watching Tampa every chance I could and then started to fall in love with Stemkos and Kuch and all those guys and then Vasilevsky came in and that was even more exciting for me to watch. He, the big cat was just the biggest thing for me in hockey like that I've ever had, ever experienced. He's the inspiration now. I just wanna I just wanna be the best that I can, just so I can even be like even the littlest bit close to him, just because he is the best in the world. When I first visited Tampa, it was in 2015 and my dad took me to a lightning game. During one of the intermissions, my dad kind of just poked me on the shoulder and, and pointed up at the big screen and up on the big screen said, happy birthday, Callan. And they brought like a cupcake and, and everything and I just remember feeling that was now my family and my home. Having Tampo recognize being a fan this far away really hits home that it is a family. It's really something special to be a part of. I wouldn't have it any other way. Even though I live 14,000 kilometers away from Tampa, I still feel part of the Bolts Nation. We are the Global Lightning Fans, the Distant Thunder. My name is Cal Rickford, I'm from Newcastle, Australia, and I'm proud to be the Thunder.